Okay, this is a 2007 Mark V GTI. This is the FSI motor for years 2006 through 2008 and a half before they switched to TSI. Okay, I'm going to replace the cam follower in a 2007 GTI with the FSI motor. And for that we have to remove the high pressure fuel pump at the rail. Okay, what we need is the tool. This is a T30 torque head. You need a 13 and a 17 millimeter wrench. If you want to convert those to standard American type dimensions, you can divide the 13 or the 17 by 25.4 and that'll give you a decimal to convert to a fraction. Here's the cam follower. That's what we're replacing. And engine assembly lube with Molly Graphite that I will be coating the cam follower, the new one, uh, when it's inserted. And that will help give us some break in. Okay, replacing the cam follower in an 07 GTI. We are looking at this piece right here, which is your high pressure fuel pump at the rail. I've already disconnected the line here, or the wires here, the wires here. Next thing is to relieve the fuel pressure. And I, what I do is loosen this line here with this 17 millimeter. And then I loosen this one here and remove it with the 13 millimeter. After that, I remove the, these three bolts here. One, two, three and we will pull this off, swap out the cam follower, and put it back together. Okay, we're loosening this rail nut here that attaches to the fuel pump. That's going to relieve the fuel pressure. There it goes. This is the 17 millimeter wrench. And you'll smell some gas, so you don't want to do this when the engine's hot. Okay, our rail is loose, see? Next thing we want to do is relieve the pressure here with 13 millimeter. And remove this. Okay, with the carpet cleaner across the street in the background, we're ready to remove these two bolts and this bolt. Okay, the uh, rail pump is now free with everything disconnected from it and it's time to remove it okay I'm gonna grab it okay diamond light coating is worn off now so it's a good time to replace this one you got the new cam follower Applied a little bit of that uh, engine assembly grease and I'm going to let everything fall <laughs> while I coat this thing down. Once it's lubed, replace the cam follower. reposition the rail pump okay we're okay we're putting the fuel pump back on I like to move around make sure it goes on evenly because it tends to rock towards each bolt as you tighten it 
and instead of tightening them real tight I like to finish them off by hand okay finishing them by hand so that when I go to remove it next time it's not too tight Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm reattaching the rail fuel line until that's snug and then we'll replace this here. Okay, we're going to plug our wires back in now that the fuel line, everything is put back together. And you can turn your key to the run position, let the fuel lines prime and you should be ready to go.